Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who review from TARDIS Tecular. I'm sorry that this is so late. I didn't get to watch the episode until yesterday. I've been so, so, so busy. But now I'm here and I'm going to make this video. And just look at it this way. You're not going to get reviews this week because of Eurovision. But you'll get this. Upside? I think so. So for starters, I like the episode a lot. I really liked all the actors. I thought they were all really, really good. I liked Agatha Christie. For some reason, she kept reminding me of Petunia. Not the actor, just Petunia Dursley herself. Um, the whole time, uh, I was just expecting her to crane over a fence or something. I don't know. Just her physical description, that's sort of what it reminded me of. Yeah. And I liked, I love Agatha Christie books. I started getting, I, I've only read a couple, and but I've seen a few of them put into play form. And I think they're really intriguing. I I love the whole mystery of it. I don't like, as Rosanna said, I don't like the CGI effects either. But I thought that overall it was okay. I just kind of looked past the giant bee thing, even though that was the main creature in the episode. <laughs> but yeah, I just focused on, you know, the acting and the plotline itself, because I thought that was really intriguing. I loved all the outfits, too. Oh my gosh, the whole time I was like, I wonder where I can get one of those. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder where you could buy that. Is that online? Let me check. Rosie and I are planning on doing a lot of shopping when I go over there. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but I'm going over there and staying with her this summer. So, yeah. We're planning on doing some shopping. So I think that uh, we have a basis of what to go off of now. How about you, Rosanna? <laughs> okay. Next to talk about. Oh yeah, my favorite part was probably when he gets poisoned and he's getting the remedy of the poison. The whole, I knew, like, for somehow, somehow, I think I just channel a mind with him, but every single time he wants something, I knew exactly what he wanted, and I thought that Catherine Tate was silly in that moment. I still am not a huge fan of Donna, but I like, that was funny with her, even though it's just like, slap, I just kind of wanted to hit her and be like, salt, salt, woman, it's salt, but yeah, it was funny. The, the kiss was weird. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say about it. I'm just gonna say that it was weird. Made me a little uncomfortable in the sense that I was like, no, please. But luckily, its purpose was to save the doctor with shock. So, yeah. Okay, well, I should probably draw this to a close. I know I didn't talk about a lot, but Rosanna basically said everything I would have said. So... At the end, I'm here. I'm just going to say that, um, about the whole Russell T. Davies and Stephen Moffat thing. I'm excited. I really like his work. His, his the episodes he've done, he's done are some of my favorites. The Girl in the Fireplace is my favorite episode in the second season, and Blink is one of my favorite episodes in the third season, and The Doctor Dances is one of my favorites in the first. So they're all like some, they're all definitely my favorites. So, I th I'm, just, I'm excited to see how he takes it. I'm, my one hope is that he's not one of those, like, one-hit wonder sort of things. So, like, he'll come in for one episode and do really, really, really well in that. But if he was had to do a whole season, the, some of them wouldn't be as good as others. They'll be sort of, like, one is up here and then one's kind of down here. I'm hoping that he produces awesome, brilliant work every time he goes out and makes an episode. That, so my only fear is that he won't live up to my expectations based on what he's done. But I'm pretty sure that we don't have to worry about that. So I'm excited. I'm going to miss Russell T. Davies. But he'll be around, I'm sure. Yeah. So with that, I will say Alonzi Alonzo with an S. <laughs> and I think you'll probably be seeing Rosanna again this weekend talking about the Russell T. Davies deal. I'm not positive, but she mentioned it. Ta!